application of Ronskin's two ordinary differential equation. So there is a fascinating relationship between the Ronskin and the second order differential equation that we are going to learn in this video. So starting with the second order linear differential equation of this form, where the initial coefficient that is a not x is not is equal to zero, and we have taken that a not a one a two all are continuous function for every value of x in the interval a to b. Now, if it is a second order differential equation, it means it has a two solution. Suppose these two solutions are y one and y two. Now these two solutions y1 and y2 are called linearly independent if and only if if you calculate their Ronskin and that is not is equal to zero for every value of x in the interval. Moreover, this is a two-way result. If y1 and y2 are linear independent, then in that case, the Ronskin is not is equal to zero. And whenever the Ronskin is not is equal to zero, in that case, the both the solutions are linearly independent, provided it satisfies this condition that the initial coefficient is not is equal to zero, and a not x, a one x, a two x, all are the continuous function for every value of x. Let's understand this result with the help of example. So, so as per this example, it is given that. Y one is equal to e raised to power minus x, and y two is equal to e raised to power x. Be the solution of this differential equation. Now we just need to calculate its Ronskin. So Ronskin of y one comma y two. This is calculated as determinant of the two by two matrix because there are the two functions. So first we will take y one function as it is, second function as it is. In the second row, we will take their derivatives. That is the first order derivatives. So let's calculate this. That is as equal to e raised to power minus x, and here we will place e raised to power x. Derivative of e raised to power minus x is minus e raised to power minus x, and the derivative of e raised to power x is e raised to power x is equal to e raised to power minus x into e raised to power x. Minus that minus times of e raised to power minus x into e raised to power x. So this is as equal to. So base are same. So we can add the powers. Minus minus e raised to power minus x plus x. So that is as equal to e raised to power zero. So minus minus is plus e raised to power zero. E anything power zero is one, so this is one plus one is equal to two. So this number is not is equal to zero for any value of x. So we can say that these two functions are linear independent solution of the given differential equation. So if the Ronskin is not is equal to zero, so we will say that y one y two are Linear independent solutions of this differential equation. Even there is a second result in the same differential equation where we have taken the initial coefficient not is equal to zero for any value of x, and all the coefficients of dependent and its derivatives are continuous for every value of x in the given interval. As the equation is a second order, so it means we have a two solution. So again, we are assuming y one as a first solution and y two as a second solution. Now these two solutions are linearly dependent if and only if their Ronskin is equal to zero. Again, this is a two-way result. If they are linearly dependent, it means Ronskin is zero. And if the Ronskin is zero, it means the functions, that is, the solutions, are linearly dependent. Only in this case, where we have taken the leading coefficient, that is, the a not x is not is equal to zero, and a not a one a two, all these coefficients are continuous. So let's understand this concept with the help of example. 
Now in this case we have two solution one is y1 and another is y2. We need to evaluate the Ronskin in this case and they are the solution of this differential equation that is the y double derivative minus y is equal to 0. So Ronskin in this case is equal to y1 by 2 that is, is equal to e raised to power minus x twice of e raised to power minus x. Now its derivative is minus e raised to power minus x and further its derivative is minus twice of e raised to power minus x. So calculating its determinant that is, is equal to minus twice of e raised to power minus x whole square minus twice of that is a negative sign over here so put negative e raised to power minus x whole square. So this is, is equal to minus twice of e raised to power minus 2x that minus minus is plus twice of e raised to power minus 2x. So this is as equal to 0. So now when the Ronskin is equal to 0 it means y1 and y2 are linearly dependent functions or we can say that in this case they are the linearly dependent solution of this differential equation. Mm -hmm.